Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. And this is going to be part two of my What Will I Choose video for the FabFitFun, I almost said spring, summer 2023 box. Uh, so I'll link part one for you if you haven't already seen it, but that will be categories six through four. And this video will be categories three through one. So I usually do it in reverse chronological order. And then I also have the refills and the boost to talk about. So I go over a lot of kind of introductory information about FabFitFun in the first video. Uh, so in the interest of time, I will just refer you to that video if you are not familiar with FabFitFun already. So uh, let's go ahead and scoot over here. So one thing I did want to mention, uh, they did add an additional item to category five, and that is the liquid IV hydration multiplier in either passion fruit, lemon lime, acai berry, or strawberry. That has a $24.99 value and you get 16. So from what I understand, you won't be able to choose from those flavors. It will just be whatever is available at that given time. Uh, so I guess they're cycling through all of those. Uh, and we are big fans of liquid IV in this household. So uh, we get the kind of larger size packages from Costco. This one has 30 individually packaged, uh, I don't know, supplements, I guess you would say. So yeah, my husband really enjoys these especially. So I think I will be picking these up uh, this, for example, it retails for $29.99 for, I think, 30 uh, so roughly a dollar per little packet. And even assuming you paid the additional $8 for Category 5, it would be $0.50 cents per packet, so in that way it is a better deal. I don't know if that's going to change any of my earlier choices in terms of the Lily Pulitzer ID case and the Serum Kind Black Blossom Hand Serum. It'll it'll just kind of depend, but I definitely think I will pick this Liquid IV. And then they did add some past favorites or throwbacks as they used to call them. And let's see. I think the items they added were all additions to the upcoming category. So I'll just talk about those. Uh, as I come to them. Okay, so for category three, the additional choices will be $12. And I think the first item is a throwback. This is the Too Faced. It says that it's limited, so it has that little hourglass emoji. I don't know if that's why they didn't kind of initially release throwbacks is because they kind of have limited supply of all of these. And if you've noticed in previous seasons where they had a lot of kind of substitutions and uh, throughout the customization periods, new items would kind of be added and that kind of thing. So I'm assuming that's kind of what's going on here. But yeah, that has a $29 value for category three. Uh, I will be skipping on that because I don't enjoy uh, lip plumping products. Uh, so that is a no-go for me. Uh, the other items here, we have the Milk Makeup Rise Mascara that has a $28 value. And I think I will be skipping on this as well. It says, we don't have time for makeup that weighs us down while we're trying to go about our summer activities. This lightweight mascara is a powerhouse product utilizing lash lift technology and a combination of 23% natural ingredients that lift, lengthen, and condition. And this is vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and fragrance-free. And from what I understand, the reviews of this were kind of mixed, but uh, I've heard that it smudges and I, I'm slowly coming to the realization that I, I have kind of found my favorite mascara, uh, which is the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. And I just don't know if anything will be able to top this in terms of uh, giving me the volume and lift that I like in my lashes. So uh, that is kind of my steadfast favorite. And yeah, I feel like I would probably use that a couple times and then never use it again. So I'll be skipping on that. Uh, we have the Volition Beauty Strawberry Sea Brightening Serum. Uh, this has a $44 value. Cruelty-free, gluten-free, vegan, clean beauty. One ounces, and it has ingredients like glycerin, it has strawberry fruit extract and strawberry seed extract. It has some citric acid. 
Uh, so I think I'll be skipping on this as vitamin C isn't a ingredient I use routinely, but uh, in terms of an ingredient deck, it's really, it's not bad. So uh, not a bad product if you have been considering it. Uh, the next product is the Nine West Hanging Travel Organizer that has a $56 value. From makeup to hair care essentials and everything in between, this is a must for all your summer trips and keeps your counter spaces clear. Uh, I wish they had said clean because that would have rhymed with between, but anyway. Uh, so this measures 10 inches by 2.56 inches by 6.5 inches. And it's a combination of like nylon, PVC, polypropylene. Uh, so to be honest, like when I first was looking at this, like Nine West, the brand didn't really like register with me, which is funny because I used to buy most of my shoes from Nine West. Uh, but yeah, it just didn't register for me. I guess they're not really known for their like toiletry cases. So uh, yeah, so I think I'll be skipping on this. Like I do like a good hanging bag, but I don't know. I, I don't think anything that is this kind of fold up mechanism like this would, would work for me. Uh, so I think I will be skipping on this. I want to say that Jen Love got this in her FabFitFun box though. So if you want to check her um, channel out and what she says about it, I'll link that below. Uh, we also have the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. This has an $80 value. And it says with a proprietary blend of fruit stem cells combined with vitamin C infused grape formula, skin's texture is improved and enhanced. It says it has vegetable hyaluronic acid, can double as a makeup primer, it's cruelty free and vegan. You get one ounce. And this one, yeah, I think it has some kind of essential oil type ingredients that I'm not too crazy about. Uh, as I always say, like I always copy and paste the ingredient lists into the Paula's Choice uh, Beautypedia page just to see what they say about it. Not all ingredients always populate in their database, so um, sometimes there are some unknowns that you have to kind of look at individually, but yeah, I will be, I will be skipping on that. I'm not, I guess, a huge fan of Juice Beauty skincare to begin with. Uh, the next one is the Elizabeth Stone Mod Bar Studs. Those have a $45 value, and these are 14 karat gold plated brass. They measure four by 12 millimeters, and they also have lab created opal. So uh, I will be skipping on these as well. As I've said before, I'm generally more, ugh, this earring, funny enough, cause I was just about to say that this type of earring, because it's a stud, it can, it can kind of move every which way. And so the two earrings may not necessarily be pointing the same way. So depending on how much you care about that may or may not be a deal breaker. Uh, but in general, I am not a huge uh, like gold jewelry type person. So I'll be skipping on that. Uh, we have the Pop Sugar Motivational 32 ounce water bottle that has a $40 value. And this is one of those that has the different times on it. So uh, it has kind of your targets for how much water you should be drinking. Uh, it has an overall volume of 32 ounces, but then you would refill it kind of midday, so you would get 64 ounces of water. Uh, the thing about this one, it says remove cap and wash both cap and bottle well after each use. The bottle and drinking cap should be thoroughly cleaned by hand in hot water using a mild detergent or regular dishwashing liquid. Hand wash only. Uh, do not clean with steel wool, da, 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 da. do not expose bottle to extreme heat or cold, not suitable for the microwave for cooking or for deep freezing, can be placed in the refrigerator. It's 100% BPA and toxin free. So I was going to get this up until the point where they said it was not dishwasher safe and then I just kind of kept moving. So uh, if you don't care about that, then uh, go for it. But. Uh, the next item I think is one that I will be picking up. This is the Swig Life Stemless Wine Cup. It has a 12 ounce capacity. It's in the Shimmer Rose Gold variation and it says it has a $24.95 value. It says live the Swig Life this summer with this adorable and functional stemless wine cup. It'll keep your drinks cold for up to nine hours 
and summer vibes hot thanks to its insulated design. And it says hot beverages will stay toasty for up to three hours. 2.7 inches in diameter, measures 4.5 inches high by 3.25 inches wide. So they say that this is dishwasher safe, but hand washing is recommended. I will probably still put it in the dishwasher. Uh, it says do not put it in the microwave and it is made out of stainless steel. So uh, I have something similar. I think I actually might've gotten this from a FabFitFun edit sale. Uh, this is from the brand Corsical and uh, this has gone through the dishwasher. I don't know if you can tell that the kind of finish has chipped off around the edges a bit. So I'm assuming that might happen with uh, the swig one, but honestly, I mean, with, with wine and that kind of thing, like you don't really need to wash it too heavily. Uh, and the, I think lids would be dishwasher safe. So if you want to try and preserve the finish, maybe just rinse out the cup and stick the lid in the dishwasher. But honestly, I will probably put the whole thing in the dishwasher. Uh, so yeah, so I will be picking that up kind of just to replace some of the ones that I've already had and been using. Yeah, so I think that is my first choice. The next item I'm kind of considering, this is the Isle of Paradise Self Tanning Butter. It has a $28 value and it says it's a self tanner, 6.76 ounces. You apply the butter to skin and spread evenly across the body. Color develops across four to six hours. Reapply as needed in place of your usual body moisturizer, washing hands thoroughly after application. Can be used on all skin tones. Uh, it has 6.76 ounces, if I didn't say. It's cruelty-free and vegan. So I am not a big self-tanner person. I, I use bronzer on my face, but otherwise, like, I am pretty ghostly. Uh, so... I do have a wedding coming up on the 13th, I think. So I don't know that I would get this box in time for that, but I don't know. I might, I might try this as kind of a, a low risk way to try some self tanner. Maybe uh, I want to say Lisa J did a sponsored like Instagram reel or something for this product. So yeah, I might try it in an effort to make my legs a little bit more attractive for the summer if I wear dresses or whatever, but I'm not, I don't know, I'm not holding my breath on this being kind of a, a new thing that I incorporate into my routine. So it might just be something that I try. Uh, the next product is the Sunny Life Pool Ring Disco. This has a $34 value and it says the diameter is about 41.3 inches. The weight limit is about 220 pounds. Not for children under three years old, and it's 100% PVC. So um, we don't have a pool, so I will be skipping on that. Uh, the next one, we have another throwback. So this is the Z Gallery Multi-Use Storage Duo. This has a $45 value. And I remember when that was an option in a previous season. Uh, I forget which season it was, but yeah, I didn't pick it then. This is where it gets tough. I already have so many items I wanna pick up for this particular category that I don't think I will probably add it because I don't have kind of an immediate use planned for it. But I mean, they're pretty basic kind of black and gold little dishes or whatever. So I don't know, I probably won't get them, but part of me kind of wants to. Uh, the other options are the Beach Riot Melanie Sarong in Miami Peony comes in both standard and plus options, and that has a $58 value. So you can use it as a bikini cover-up. Uh, standard size is 64 by 20, meant to fit small through extra large, and plus size is 80 inches, I'm assuming, by 23, meant to fit 0x to 3x. So they say that it's best if hand washed with a drop of mild soap in cold water and then laid flat to dry. Uh, but you can also wash it in the gentle cycle on cold and then tumble dry low. It's 100% poly woven. And they say that you can use this over your bikini all summer long or in your hair. So yeah, I'll probably pass on this. Like the, the pattern is cute, but I just don't think I will probably get a ton of use out of it. 
Uh, the next item is something I am definitely picking up. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. This has a $44 value. It says, this choice is coming to the rescue when it comes to reinvigorating, hydrating, and refreshing your skin. Emollients help to reduce moisture loss from the skin, relieving feelings of tightness or dryness in the process. So you get 1.7 ounces, which is the kind of standard moisturizer size, and you apply it to face and neck twice daily in the AM and PM. Has uh, water, obviously glycerin, has some niacinamide, which I can be a little sensitive to, but uh, I have actually used a full size of this product up before and it didn't cause me any problems, so I think it should be good. Uh, also has caprylic capric triglyceride, soluble collagen, dimethicone, panthenol, clodial oatmeal, squalane, has ceramides, peptides, uh, some licorice root extract, shea butter. Yeah, so lots of good stuff. So. Uh, like I said, I have used a full size of it, and I first, I think, tried it, or I got the full size in, uh, I got a, a Trend Mood box, which I still have the box of, so I decided to uh, pull it out for you, and uh, this is basically where I store all of my First Aid Beauty, like, skincare products, like my back stock, so not all of these obviously work for me, or... You know, I haven't had the opportunity to try them, uh, but I do have a sample here of the Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. I have another sample that's in my travel case to take to uh, England. Uh, so, you know it's good when you take it traveling, right? But yeah, it's just a really nice moisturizer. Doesn't really smell like anything. So, so I think if you have dry skin, especially for the summer, I think it will be enough as a night cream. And I think if you have more oily skin to normal skin, you will be able to kind of tolerate it as a night cream. It's not like a gel texture, which I know a lot of kind of more normal oily skin types prefer for moisturizer. So you might prefer something a little bit lighter if you have more oily skin, but uh, if you have more kind of normal combination skin, I think that will be perfectly fine uh, in the daytime under makeup, etc. So uh, really, really nice product. I'm looking forward to having that again. Uh, the next product I also have a sample of, uh, this is the Way Fine to Medium Hair Treatment Mask. This has a $38 value and this has their Melrose Place scent, I believe, yeah. Um, so that's like their rose-based scent. Uh, and as I've said before, like typically I just use a hair mask in lieu of a standard conditioner for my hair. Uh, but for this one you get, let's see. It says, with a combination of shea butter, panthenol, keratin, and proteins, hair emerges shiny, frizz-free, smoother, and healthier with this mask. Uh, the signature Melrose Place scent adds a relaxing luxe vibe, turning your shower into a dreamy spa-like experience. And this is gluten-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free. You get eight ounces and yeah, you kind of use it the same way you would most masks, I think. Uh, so I have both the fine to medium hair mask sample and the thick hair mask. And when I was first scrolling through this, I was kind of hoping that they would give you the option because sometimes they do that. They have different products that are kind of geared towards, I guess, different hair types or different skin types, that kind of thing. But uh, unfortunately, we just have one to pick from. I think if I did have the option, I would probably go with the thicker hair mask. My hair, I did kind of straighten it today, but I have kind of naturally wavy hair. And like I said, I typically use a hair mask on it. So I like a nice kind of thick hair mask. Uh, and I typically wash it every one to two days. Like I don't go too long without washing it. So I like a kind of really rich um, hair mask and leave-in products and everything to kind of compensate for that. Um, so that is the thick hair mask and this is the fine to medium. So if you are worried about your hair being kind of weighed down and granted I'm not totally sure kind of how old this sample is. So it might have kind of evaporated but um, you can see this is much more like a butter 
kind of texture with the thick one versus this one. You can see kind of the difference there in, in texture and consistency. So, you know, I, I would prefer the thick one but I'll take the thin one. So um, I do plan to pick this one up as well. So that will be an additional choice for me. Uh, and then we have one other hair mask. So the next one is from Olaplex. Uh, so this next one is the number eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask from Olaplex. It has a $30 value. And it says, we feel a strong bond with this choice. Uh, it says, perfect for all hair types, moisture, shine, and hydration are given thanks to this patented Olaplex bond building technology. Uh, so this is also vegan and cruelty free and you get 3.3 fluid ounce. And I think honestly, if I were to recommend one over the other, if you only wanted to pick one, I would go with the Way. Um, so this one still has the, the seal. I did use these all again recently just to kind of confirm my thoughts about them. Oops. Okay, so just to give you the texture of that. So I think this one is a little bit closer to your standard conditioner type texture. I guess if you use all whey products and maybe you want to stay in their system, it would make sense to uh, pick up that whey mask but otherwise i mean the scent alone i prefer in the the way so hopefully that kind of gives you some sense of the difference in textures again the ones that are available are those two on the outer edges and the one in the middle is the thick um way hair mask honestly i'm i don't know i might still pick it up i think sometimes you can choose multiple items like multiples of an item so so we'll see what happens with that uh the next option is the sunday citizen bath set this has a 60 dollars value so you get a like soap or lotion dispenser and a little cup uh it says the set is perfect for making your two dollar soap look like a million bucks elevate your everyday by adding small sophisticated touches to your home and they are i guess six 0.5 inches by 3.5 inches by 7.5 inches and they're made out of faux marble resin and a plastic pump you know I kind of like the look of these but I don't have any need for them and I guess as far as a soap dispenser like I typically prefer a foaming hand soap and I think this one is more designed for just traditional hand soap so uh, I will be skipping on that one uh, the next item is the Short Stories, which I'm pretty sure is a FabFitFun in-house brand. So this is the uh, ceramic blue and white long tray. They say it has a $40 value. And it says, presentation is everything, even when it comes to how you organize your bathroom, countertop, kitchen essentials, or where you keep your knickknacks. Display your face and style on this Short Stories ceramic tray. They say you can add it to your kitchenware lineup to serve up tasty treats. So this is 14.1 inches by 4.5 inches by 1.35 inches. And it is microwave and dishwasher safe. You can use it for appetizers. It's stoneware and ceramic with a 3D glazed design. So objectively, I think this is fine. I just don't have, I guess, a strong desire for it or a use for it in mind. So I'll be skipping on that. And then the next item is the Laneige Hydro UV Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This has a $30 value. It says it's specially formulated for the face. It doubles as a moisturizer delivering just as much hydration as it does protection for the sunny days ahead. It has 1.6 ounces and the active ingredients here are avobenzone, homosalate, octocrylene, and octosalate. Uh, so I especially avoid avobenzone because I think it irritates my skin. So I will be skipping on that one. But if you are a fan of chemical sunscreens, that is available. Uh, and then the last option for this category is the Kenzie Radiant Shaver. This has a $49.99 value. It says it's designed to be used in or out of the shower. And it's 3.5 by 3 by 0.75 inches. It says, charge fully before first to use, press button to power on and glide across skin to remove hair. Use with water or without. It can be splashed, slashed, used in the shower. 
Water resistant for wet dry use, but do not submerge and do not store in wet areas. This is interesting to me. I don't know if I have anything quite like this. Like I have a, um, what do they call it? Like a, one of those depilatory machines. Typically I just use a kind of regular old razor. So, so I don't know about this one. I might have to think about it a little bit, but yeah, I don't have anything quite like it right now. So it's hard for me to kind of say whether I would use it or not. And that is UK restricted. Okay. Probably because it has a lithium battery. Okay. So that was it for category two. For category one, additional choices are also 15 and uh, the throwback for this one is the Jonathan Adler Craft and Cafe Cup Set that has a $50 value. I want to say that was an option last season. I'll find the video where I talked about that before because I talked about some alternatives and why I thought that may or may not be a good choice. So I'll link that for you if you'd like to check it out. Uh, but yeah, we'll be skipping on that one this time around. Uh, the other options are, and I'll just say that everyone kind of holds out for customization one as being kind of the best options. But I found that this season and probably some seasons in the past that customization two tends to have more things that appeal to me, which is interesting. But anyway, uh, so for this one, there's the Kate Spade New York Lemon Pitcher instead of two cups that has a $38.95 value, which seems kind of low for customization one to be honest the pitcher has a 58 ounce or 1.72 liter capacity the cups are 12 ounce or 0.36 liters the cups are dishwasher safe on the top rack but hand washing is preferred and they say that the pitcher is hand wash only to preserve the design and clarity of the acrylic uh, the pitcher is not insulated so yeah i'll be skipping on that one partly just because I don't think we'd have a place to store it. Uh, the next option is the Elemis Superfood Midnight Facial that has a $54 value. Uh, you get 1.6 ounces and it says, this luxurious cream reveals enviable skin through a combination of cocoa butter and vitamin C filled camu camu, moisturizing and replenishing while you're getting your beauty rest. Uh, so I do actually have this. I think I got it in a subscription box and I personally would not recommend this. I used, I guess, a decent amount of it, but I'm trying not to get out my nose. Uh, but especially if you don't like fragrance in your skincare, this is very, very heavily scented, kind of has like a tutti fruity type vibe to it. So if you don't like fragrance skincare, that just smells hugely fragrance to me. Um, and it has some ingredients that are not great in terms of sensitive skin. Uh, it does have fragrance as a standalone um, ingredient and quite high up as well, I might add. Uh, it has limonene, orange peel oil, it has linalool, uh, lime oil, citral. So yeah, just lots of kind of ingredients that personally I'm not too crazy about in my skincare. So I don't know, I might just use this up as like a body lotion or something, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it personally. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you don't mind heavily fragrant skincare, then you might enjoy it. They do have the disclaimer, do not eat. This is a cosmetic. I wonder if that's because it's called superfood. That's funny. All right. The next option is the Beach Riot Beach Club towel in, I think, pink orange stripe or pink blue stripes, you get a choice. Each has a $78 value, 30 inches by 68 inches. And it says, we suggest you hand wash or machine wash items alone or with like colors and fabrics, gentle cycle, cool water, mild soap. And they say to hang or lay flat to dry. 100% polyester microfiber is the material. Yeah. So I have the towel from Think Lily Pulitzer that they had one season so I think that that pretty much you know satisfies my need for any beach towels because we go to a beach well never but once in a blue moon I go to a pool with a friend but I'm, I'm good on that front uh, the next option is the Bala bangles half pound weights and two months of free online courses they say it has an $88.98 value yeah, so they say here that um, when you sign up for this option, 
FabFitFun will email you your unique code to redeem at the website. And then you need to sign up for an account and enter your credit card information to redeem. After two months, you will be charged $19.99 per month for your size. I'm guessing, membership unless you cancel. So if you are not a fan of any kind of recurring membership like that or the risk of being charged, uh, I would recommend not choosing this because I think that's making up a lot of the value here, around half I would say. So. so that's just something to consider, but I will be skipping on that one. The next option is the Free People Distressed Vegan Wallet that has a $58 value. Let's see, it looks like this is one of those kind of wallets with a a wrist strap, uh, which is great. It says it has six slots for cards and a separate compartment for everyday must haves. It's 8.5 inches by 0.5 inches by 4.5 inches. And it's 100% vegan leather. It says the outer zipper is decorative, which is just stupid, really. Like either make it functional or don't put it on there in my personal opinion. Yeah, I'll be skipping on that. I'm happy enough with my current like wallet um, that I have, so I'll be skipping on that. Uh, the next one is another Olaplex. This is the number four P Blonde Enhancer Toning Shampoo. This has a $30 value, and it says this purple shampoo neutralizes brassiness while toning, brightening, and hydrating your locks. Step out with glowing locks as bright and shiny as the summer sun. So vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free, 8.5 fluid ounces, and yeah, it's a purple shampoo. So I think I might pick this up. So I'm, I don't have like super blonde, blonde hair. Um, I do have highlights, and I think my hair kind of gravitates a little bit warmer anyway. So I never try to get it to like super white blonde or anything, but I don't know. From time to time, I like to use a purple shampoo or whatever, and... I think Stephanie from Babs Beauty really likes this product and it's, it's kind of her go-to, so I might pick it up just to try it. I think that's really the only product that I like from this category, so um, that's probably going to be my choice. Uh, the next one is the Sunny Life Underwater Camera. This has a $30 value. Uh, again, some of these values are not super high. Uh, but this has another little hourglass emoji, so we know that it is limited in availability. And uh, this is just like your old school, is it Polaroid cameras? Like you would just mail off the entire camera to get developed. So it looks kind of like that quality of camera, but kind of tucked inside a plastic case to make it waterproof. Uh, it says, don't miss a moment. Make sure you record memories in and out of the water this summer with this versatile underwater camera. So they say it is a retro waterproof filled camera. Let me know if you're old enough to remember actually using film in cameras, especially the disposable ones. Uh, it says it requires a 35 millimeter roll of negative film, which is not included, which is kind of crappy. Uh, it's detachable, waterproof, casing, focus-free, easy film loading. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to pass on this. So I don't think I would use it, and I don't know. I'm old enough where the kind of getting film developed doesn't feel fun and exciting. It just feels like more of a chore, so... Um, I will be passing on that. I remember when I got my first digital camera, I think I was in college. Um, so, yeah. So the next item is the Ola Hendrickson Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. This has a $35 value. It says, exfoliating is always in season. Unveil smooth and polished skin this season with this lemonade smoothing scrub. The exfoliating properties are balanced by chamomile and holy basil, so your skin is just as calm as it is smooth. You get three ounces, it says to apply to wet skin and gently massage in. Leave on for up to two minutes before rinsing or rinse right away should be used two to three times per week or never in my case because I'm not going to pick it. This has a lot of lemon, citrus, kind of essential oil type products. With more sensitive skin especially, you wanna be really careful about physical exfoliants and yeah, this just has a lot of those types of essential oil type ingredients that I just don't wanna put on my face. I believe Teresa's dad still likes that product. I know she has spoken about it in the past. So 
If you tend to, I guess, like her skincare recommendations, you may enjoy that, but I will be passing on that. Uh, the next item is the Gaiam Foldable Yoga Mat in Midsummer Nights. This has a $44.99 value. It says foldable and compactable. Uh, you can easily slide it into your bag, backpack, or carry-on so you can win over your Warrior II with ease. It is 68 inches by 22 inches by 0 0.07 inches. And I think I saw that it is slightly more narrow than your kind of standard yoga mat. And it's 100% PVC. I think I looked this up out of curiosity. So I believe this is only two millimeters thick. Um, my yoga mat, which is also from Gaiam, is I think extra thick. And that is six millimeters. And even then I kind of double it up when I do yoga. Um, because I just find that some of the positions are a little bit tough on my knees um, in my ripe old age of 38 now. So yeah, that's going to be a no for me. And I guess, you know, I don't travel for work or anything. So I'm not like always on the road and I don't feel like I need a yoga mat that is kind of foldable and everything like that. But um, if you are in that position, you know, I can see a, a use case for this. Uh, I do like the design of it, but I think for me, I'm I'm happy with what I have. Okay, so that is it for that category. Moving on to refills, we only have a couple, I think non-pet, no, they did add some. Okay, it's always good to check the links, I guess. Um, so for this one, we have the Cora's Pure Greek Olive Body Cream and Sea Salt. That will be uh, additional $10.80 per season if you select that. Uh, you can go in and cancel the refills, but otherwise they will just uh, ship to you with every box. So yeah, so we've talked about that before. Uh, we've also talked about this one. This is the NCLA Birthday Cake Beauty Sleep Lip Mask. Um, this will be an additional $8.10 and it's supposed to have a $21 value. I think this is now on the NCLA website when I was first talking about this product and I don't know when I received it, if it was on there yet, but. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is supposed to be like a birthday cake scented and yeah, I guess it kind of has like a light vanilla scent, but interesting kind of goopy texture. I think honestly, if you were interested in a birthday cake lip balm, I don't know that I would recommend this one. Uh, you might even look at the one from the like ColourPop Alice in Wonderland collection that has come out. Um, I think that one has, I don't know, a more traditional lip balm texture. So I don't know that that one is worth re-upping on a seasonal basis. Maybe try it once and then cancel if you're curious. But anyway, uh, moving on, we have the Fur Baby Bundle in either small, medium, or large, extra large. And it looks like for this season, we don't just have a couple of like toys. We also have some treats, uh, which is cool. So if you have a, a dog, that may be worth looking at. Um, but yeah, those are cute. Uh, we have the Earth Harbor Azure Regenerative Neck Cream for $14.40. Uh, that is $48. And I feel like I've gotten a lot of Earth Harbor skincare, but none of it has really kind of made its way into my routine. Uh, let's see. It says it has seaweed, amino acids, copper peptides, nothing terrible kind of at first glance, but as always, I would recommend putting it into the Polish Choice Beautypedia page. Uh, next up, we have a deodorant. So this is from Green Goo, Clarity and Focus Herbal Deodorant for $5.40, down from $10.99. It says it has grapefruit, ginger, and patchouli. And it has caprylic capric triglyceride, magnesium hydroxide, arrowroot powder, it has some lavender, bergamot. I don't know if arrowroot powder is what kind of does some absorption, that kind of thing. It doesn't look like it has baking soda or any kind of acids that would neutralize odor. Yeah, I just I just worry sometimes with these natural deodorants that they include like a lot of essential oil type ingredients that especially if you have like freshly shaved skin that it might irritate it. So yeah, I don't know anything about that brand or that product, but that is going to be a pass 
for me. All right, and then finally we get into the boost category. I will say though that with the refills, I was kind of surprised and maybe a little disappointed that they didn't include the, the Amika shampoo and conditioner that we got recently because I have really been enjoying that, especially the shampoo. Conditioner I can kind of do without, as I've mentioned, but yeah, really enjoyed that. Okay, uh, so for the boost, so these only ship once, it's not like a recurring thing, but it is an additional fee. Okay, so we have the Amica Double Asian 2-in-1 Blow Dryer and Straightening Brush. This will be $67 down from $120. And it says, uh, we're always on the lookout for effective ways to shorten our hair care routine without compromising a good hair day. The straightening blow dryer brush has secured a permanent place in our regimen as it styles damp hair three times faster by simultaneously drawing and styling. And was it the um, GHD like straightening tool that came out that did both the drawing and the straightening type feature? Um, this is like a one of those brushes, like those hot brushes, but it also has a kind of dryer capability. Uh, it says two-in-one tool that combines the ease of a straightening brush with the efficiency of a blow dryer. Styles hair three times faster. It says it has three settings, which I think, I don't know if the GHD does both at one time, maybe on a lower heat setting, but it says uh, blow dryer, thermal brush, and combo. They say it's 1.7 times shinier compared to air dried hair, reduces frizz by 30% for hair that is, smooth, that is as smooth as a double agent. Okay, so I am strongly considering getting this and let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing me review it. Uh, so just to kind of talk about what I did with my hair today. So uh, it was second day hair and yesterday I'd washed it and then I used my uh, Diva Curl Super Cream, which is like a curl enhancer type product. Um, so I had pretty curly hair, but it was second day. Uh, so today I just kind of put in a heat protectant and um, I tried to kind of straighten it and blow dry it with my Dyson Air Wrap with this attachment and a little bit of the, like the round brush. So let me know if you would be interested in seeing kind of a side-by-side -side comparison between this and the Dyson. I did a quick search on YouTube to see if anyone had done that and I didn't see any. Um, so I'm kind of curious and I've never tried a thermal brush. I don't think so. I'm kind of curious about that as well. So yeah, let me know if you'd be interested because I'd be happy to try that out. I, I find those kind of like I guess split head videos that people do comparing Dyson or Shark or whatever products to one another. I just find those interesting. So kind of kind of uh, interested in trying that. Uh, the next item is the Foreo Luna Play Smart 2 Mint For You or Tickle Me Pink. This is $35 and for $35 I, I think this is a steal really. Normally $99. And it says, sometimes you need a little extra help ensuring your skin is fully cleansed from makeup, dirt, oil, or pollutants. We absolutely love this product from Foreo as it measures skin moisture levels to give your skin the clean it needs. It says silicone touch points, exfoliate, massage, and cleanse. And the versatile tool has both thick and thin points that are effective on different parts of the skin. So this one is 2.36 by 2.56 by 1.1. And I have the Luna Mini 2. It looks pretty similar to this in terms of this part of it, but it doesn't have like the sensor type features. I used to have a Mini that had those features and I don't know, the whole like app function of it never really did too much for me. I think it's about this size, like that's about three inches. Maybe it's a little bit smaller. Honestly, I might pick that up just to have as kind of a backup. Like I said in one video where I think I was talking about the PMD, like I do prefer this to the PMD and I used to have one of those really small ones, uh, but the battery exploded or something and it kind of broke. So this one, how does it charge? Maybe this one has a battery as well. I wonder if that one was actually the same as what I had before. It might have been. 
Um, really good for kind of making sure you get everything removed and it's pretty gentle and everything. So, so I do really enjoy it. And this is kind of this or like a washcloth is kind of the extent of the physical exfoliation I do. So I really do like it a lot. Yeah, so that one does have a battery. I don't know if you can replace the batteries though. Okay, so after doing a little bit more digging, I think this is probably the same product that I had. And I, I mean, $35 maybe, but I, I probably won't pick this up. I was just looking at reviews on their website and they said things like, it looks like other people were having the same issue I did essentially. And some of the responses were like, kindly note that all the Foreo Play devices are an introduction to all the benefits of Sonic healthcare and as such are not covered by warranty and are not rechargeable. Um, someone says, I was surprised a product from Sweden would be plastic throwaway. And then they responded to that and they said, Unfortunately, your review will have to be rejected as it lacks relevant information about the product itself. But it's still on the website. I don't know. So take that with a heavy grain of salt. Like I, I don't know that it's something really worth investing in, but for $35, if you've been curious about a Foreo or whatever, then maybe, but I don't know. That That's kind of suspect. Uh, okay, the next item here is from Stony Clover Lane. It's the classic small pouch in either avocado, periwinkle, or flamingo. Um, so really cute spring summery colors. Uh, that will be 29 down from 68. Uh, it looks like it's a pretty basic little pouch. I think what sets Stony Clover apart is that uh, they have like little patches and stuff you can buy to like customize your your pouches and your bags or whatever so uh, if you would be into that kind of thing maybe look at this and then pick up the patches um, on the stony clover website uh, but this is five inches by 9.5 inches by two inches deep it's basically nylon um, with gold metal hardware and it's lined i mean they're really cute i need another pouch like I need a hole in the head and I probably wouldn't take the step of customizing it so then it's kind of like what's the point but yeah that that light blue is really pretty so I don't know probably a no but I could see the appeal I guess uh the next one I do have so this is the Dermaflash mini sonic touch-up wand this will be 35 down from 49 and um I talked about this in more depth during one of my Ulta 21 days of beauty videos um so I might just include a link to that um where I talk about it in more depth but yeah I kind of got this really to kind of do more kind of fine tuning around my eyebrows but I think Generally, I prefer the full size. Um, I need to use it soon, actually. But uh, yeah, generally, I prefer the full size. And like I said, this was half off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. So there's a decent chance it will be half off again. So I don't know that 35 is the best price you can do for that. If it would be cheaper at Ulta in the future, I would recommend just holding out for Ulta. But if you've been kind of dying to try it and you missed it at Ulta, then maybe maybe pick it up but yeah I guess I don't find the the small one to be a game changer although if you do if you do travel a lot maybe um but still I prefer the larger one okay another pair of Prada sunglasses that seems to be kind of the norm now uh 299 down from 520 and they look white so they're made out of acetate and polyamide. The temple distance is 145 millimeters. So they look fun, but I, I wouldn't drop $300 on them on a whim, but those will be available. Uh, FabFitFun must have some kind of long-term deal with um, Prada. Uh, okay, next up we have the Laneige Radiant C Brightening Treatment Essence for $15 down from 39. And you get five ounces and again, the ingredients for this, I'm just not crazy about. It has uh, denatured alcohol, which is the drying alcohol as the second ingredient. It has limonene, fragrance. Yeah, I will be passing on that one. Uh, next up, we have the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Eye Cream for $15, down from 43. So I think this is kind of a companion product 
uh, to the moisturizer that's available in one of the categories. Uh, it says, if you need a little help looking awake and refreshed, we got you. Reduce the look of puffiness and the appearance of dark under eye circles with this cooling eye cream. You get 0.8 ounces, which is actually more than you typically get in an eye cream. Typically, they're about half an ounce, uh, which is interesting considering that the moisturizer is on the small end. Uh, but yeah, this one has, uh, let's see, glycerin, dimethicone, lots of dimethicones, niacinamide, caffeine. So not terrible, at least at first glance. It does have some fragrance. Yeah, I don't think I will be picking this one up as well. Um, kind of a cute little package though, and for only $15, if the ingredients sound good to you, it's not a bad choice. Uh, next up, we have the Smashbox by Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter in Champagne Pop. Uh, so this will be 19 down from 40. And of course, this is the classic highlighter we all know. So um, I do have that. So I thought I would just quickly apply this on camera so you can kind of see the before and after. Now that... Uh, Smashbox has kind of resurrected Becca. Still unclear whether the kind of old school YouTube highlighter is making a comeback or not, but yeah, that's that's what it looks like on my skin tone. And I just used, uh, let's see, I used bronzer and I used a kind of matte blush today because I wanted this highlighter to kind of show through. So definitely gets pretty intense in a hurry. Uh, and there's something very satisfying about these, these compacts. It seems like they've pretty much kept the Becca packaging, even though it's now kind of a, <laughs> in theory, a Smashbox product. So uh, one thing I did want to know is that you can get a mini of that highlighter for, you can get a mini for 23, so a little bit more, but maybe just worth considering if, if you don't feel like picking up this additional item at this time. All right, so next up we have the Business and Pleasure Company, the Holiday Cooler Bag, and either Vintage Lemons or Vintage Gold for $29 down from 59. Yeah, it's made out of cotton, polyester, and PVC. Do not machine wash, do not tumble dry. You store empty. Clean with a soft cloth. So I do have this. Um, I don't think we've ever used it though, but just to kind of give you a sense of the size, obviously I have the lemon variation and this one um, it has a kind of shoulder strap there. It's not detachable or anything. And then it has the two handles that you can snap together. I want to say one of these snaps was detached or something when it came and my husband kind of fixed it for me. So um, I don't know, I guess that's worth noting. And then that is kind of what it looks like. Obviously it doesn't come with these plates or anything. Oh, I had another moisturizer, I didn't realize. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's what it kind of looks like. It is nice that it's all kind of, I guess, one layer of the PVC so that I guess in theory you could put ice or whatever in there without it leaking through a seam. Yeah, if you're if you're a big like picnic person or whatever, like I think it, it's cute. It might serve a purpose for you, but personally I haven't used it, so. Uh, anyway, I just thought I would quickly mention that. Uh, it's 12 by 5 inches by 8 inches by 6.5 inches. It doesn't say that you can use it for hot items. Yeah, I think it's strictly for cool items. Anyway. Uh, and then finally, we have the Golden Rabbit Sea Glass Nesting Bowls. Okay, so there's three different options. The Golden Rabbit Nesting Bowls in either Sea Glass, Cobalt Swirl, or Solid White. Uh, for $23, down from $46.20. And this looks like it's the same type design as the, like the Dutch oven pot they had one season that everyone went crazy for. And they are nesting. So you get a set of three bowls with lids, 5.5 inches, 6.5 inches, and seven inch diameters. 
and those have three, four, and six cup capacities. Dishwasher safe, oven and stove top safe, excluding lids, and a hardened enamel surface. So those could be nice. Yeah, oven safe too. Yeah, so I guess if you wanted kind of a, an alternative to like Pyrex or something, carbon steel, porcelain enamel, stainless steel rim, and they are dishwasher safe. So yeah, not, not a bad choice. I, I don't think I will be picking these up because we just don't have the space to store them, but they look like they're pretty well designed and everything. So if you um, see a need for those, um, maybe worth picking up. Okay, so let's just quickly recap here. So for category three, Definitely getting the wine cup and possibly the self-tanning butter is what I'm thinking. Uh, for customization two, definitely getting the collagen cream and the whey hair mask, possibly the Olaplex. Uh, and then the Z Gallery storage duo is also in category two. So that's, you know, maybe. And the Kenzie shaver, it looks intriguing. Uh, and then for category one, I think I'm only gonna get the Olaplex shampoo. Uh, so there's that. Uh, not anything new in the refills. I still have the uh, cocoa floss on refill and the uh, filters for the air purifier. And for the boost, thinking of getting that Amika hair straightening brush for kind of a video uh, review and probably not the Freo now that I've thought about it. The Stony Clover pouch, again, is cute. That's the problem when you go into boots is that everything is additional, so it adds up. Yeah, I think I either have everything else or I don't want or need it. So uh, anyway, that is going to do it for my part two of this series for summer 2023. Um, I hope you guys found this helpful and um, useful. Um, hopefully I will get this up in time for customization to open on Friday. But as I mentioned in a previous video, I will be flying to London Thursday evening. So that kind of makes this a little bit more interesting for me to, to film and upload. But as I said, hope you guys enjoyed this, found it helpful. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And uh, until next time, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.